Hey guys, good morning. It's Ria here. I'm just hopping on real quick before my run. You can see the ocean out there, guys. Just want to deliver a quick message. And it's about being a spiritual athlete. And this message was actually instigated from C. Megan. Sorry, I cut out for a second. C. Megan Michael from High Vibrational Mastery as commenting. And I'm going to I am blessed and honored and I get to be on High Vibrational Mastery with C. Megan September 1st. So you guys make sure to tune into that. And so anyways, um, I was just commenting back and forth with her yesterday um, to do with my video I did yesterday under this page, Temple of the Sun. And as I was working out, I was thinking, hmm, I wonder what she'll entitle the show. What the heck? How is she going to broach um, the subject matter or what I'm about and at that very moment just about I get a I get a response from her hey good morning Suzanne and she says spirit just spoke to me why don't we call it spiritual fitness with Rhea and I'm like oh my god it clicked and I told her I said I was just inquiring that in my mind as I was working out how stinking unbelievable and interconnected and like I like like we always say and know guys how we're all intertwined through the energy of love we had that connection we had that open communication going and it's as if we were one mind in her coming up with that so her wanting to entitle the show with me on September 1st on high vibrational mastery is going to unless she changes it is going to be entitled spiritual fitness with Rhea and I was like oh my god how did I never think of that before it totally encompasses embodies all that I am it was unbelievable because for me the physical vessel of being human isn't separated at all from my spiritual journey as you guys know all of my heart cards the images the messages my book my cross breath have all derived and been created from me when i'm in the zone of running unbelievable and even her page high vibrational mastery that she created it's got spiritual athlete written and oozing all over from it, all over it. Because to be a high vibrational master, oh my God, you've got to take on the archetype. You've got to take on the energy of an athlete. And what does an athlete do? They have to be, first of all, totally present in their moment of now. They've got to be one with their body in order to perform you know how when a runner is in runner's high they're in the zone they're at one mind body and spirit with their being an athlete that def that overcomes or defeats all human reasoning with their athleticism they have to be in the now you know that no time zone that place where you feel invincible and that's how you master that's how you become a master in the now when you come to the now all those energies are available to you now. All other aspects of you, all other connections of you, whether you are an athlete, a writer, a dancer, a poet, a mom, a political leader, a genius, uh, an inventor. We're all called to be geniuses in our own right. And, and we achieve that genius through being that athlete, that uh, spiritual athlete, because that spiritual athlete, to me, an athlete, a true athlete even, in the physical human vessel, displays and represents and embodies what spirituality is about. Because as an athlete, you've got to reach for something bigger than yourself. You've got to dig deep into a power and connect to it that is beyond anything you've ever lived up to present moment. You have to gain a deep belief and trust and faith in that vision that you have of yourself, of that accomplishment, of those desires you want to bring forth. You've got to believe and you've got to reach deep within. And to me, it is the invisible that, that we label spiritual. It's the invisible forces. It's the unseen. And who epit epitomizes that better than an athlete? In, in order to be an athlete too, guys, You've got to be a rebel. You've got to have that little bit of rebel in you. 
and my two favorite athletes, and I don't put anyone on a pedestal because I believe we're all equal and we're all here with our own divine frequency imprint to master. And mastery to me, just to offshoot here for a second, mastery to me is delving in the moment and reaching for the highest frequency that you possibly can against all odds. Does that not require you being an athlete? Does that not require inner strength like an athlete? Does that not require having to pull upon the muscles of faith and trust and belief? Son of a bee. Unbelievable. And even that title, um, vibra High Vibrational Mastery, to me, and I don't know if you feel this way, C. Megan, is that doesn't mean having an end result or an end goal. A vibrational master is only in the now trying to attain the highest frequency that they can through their free will, through their choice, like an athlete taking their own inner strength and stepping in by choice to choose to extract the positive, to find the beauty, to gain the highest vibration and frequency of any, any situation. To me, that is a beautiful, such a beautiful name of, of what a spiritual athlete's goal is. Wow. And like an athlete, guys. Good morning, Anita. And like an athlete, like a physical athlete who trains, what does a spiritual athlete do? They train their muscles. And you know what? As they gain that, as they reach for that higher frequency vibration, inner truth, an athlete, like a baseball player, like a runner, like a swimmer, they've got to reach and go through things that don't feel good. Their muscles hurt, their bones ache. They might have injury on their, on their ascension to being the best athlete they can. So does a spiritual athlete. We, we take on these ascension symptoms. We take on these, these um, feelings and emotions that are, that are brought forth that are preventing us from reaching our highest frequency and we release them and it does feel painful. But we trust in the process. We trust through the faith and belief that it is serving you, that that there's a light at the end of a tunnel. And just like an athlete, they could stop at the, the first sign of sore muscles and all of that kind of stuff, but they believe that it's helping them. It is expanding them. Well, us as a spiritual athlete are always expanding. And through our expansion, we too trust in the discomfort that we feel sometimes in order to gain a higher perception, a, uh, a higher higher frequency of a situation of our growth of our ascension of our enlightenment of whatever we go through in life and like i was saying a second ago and i kind of diverted is um i never place people on pedestals i think we're all equal and we're all masters and we're all geniuses in our own right but two people that stand out and obviously there's a frequency resonance between us is arnold arnold schwarzenegger i love him because he was such a visionary and he had to believe in himself so deeply he had to believe in something that was within him it wasn't tangible yet and he kept reaching and he didn't give up and he had sore muscles and he was downplayed by his dad he had to be a rebel against his father from Austria who was a police officer who wanted him to be a soccer player and he had to rebel against what was expected what path was um, for him to be followed and look what he became an actor a politician Mr. Universe over and over and over because he believed and he reached in and he had sore muscles and he did hurt and I'm sure there were times where he wanted to throw in the and throw in the towel just like us as spiritual athletes many times we ask ourselves father why have you forsaken me why am I on this path I feel nothing but tears and pain and it hurts so bad and my heart feels like it's being um, broken open and and the athlete and the physical is just the representation of the emotional and the spiritual of what we feel guys and as we do grow in frequency and as we do have sore muscles, <laughs> I'll call it sore muscles, what do we do? Oh, my God, this is genius. We develop modalities and healings in order to help us along our way and our path. Just like an athlete has to maybe uh, experience cold and ice and heat on their muscles and ice cold baths and hot heating packs and massage and supplements and all of these therapeutic stuff to help them through their ascension into becoming the athlete that they see themselves within so do we as spiritual um athletes we too develop these things to help us through through the next level of enlightenment modalities and healing and um 
herbs and oils and he, uh, like healing techniques through touch, tone, freq- it's all frequency. And it's funny because as we elevate in frequency, the old modalities, the old ways of healing no longer serve us because they're not a match with our new frequency. So as our frequency rises and as say we bring forth pains we've never felt before, it is beautiful because it's in that re- releasing that we allow the high frequencies to come forth. And when we allow the high frequencies to come forth and have that belief and faith that we're going through whatever we're going through for a reason, then what also materializes into our reality are those new ideas, new creative solutions to help us to help help us through the the uh, spiritual pain the emotional pain which always manifests in the physical in the physical and i'm going to use myself as an example totally healthy never any physical ailments whatsoever but extremely focused on the spiritual path consciously and the spiritual path is always about love it's about expansion of love and we can't expand the love and become the love we are if we're holding on to energies that don't serve us and that block that love whether it be in this lifetime or other lifetimes because all truly is in the now so we can be carrying on frequencies and and um memories of past lives because everything is now so i personally huge 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 ascension symptoms where my heart literally felt cracked open where i felt electrical impulses electric i consider those to be the high frequencies pushing through and anxiety because all these symptoms that we've never experienced bring on anxiety our body's not used to it and as we breathe and allow and say thank you for serving me which calls upon a great inner strength and faith we allow the frequencies to move through us and allow ourselves to um, even be directed and guided to healing modalities and things that will help us along that way. Like the athlete becoming the Olympia, Olympian champion. They have new, new ways of training and new ways of um, getting the greatest gains in the shortest amount of time through implementing new um, programs, structures, and healing modalities to help them get to the next level same with us as we get to the next level we are given we are reflecting also things to help us and aid us on our journey i'm sorry i can't see guys sorry i can't see because of the light thank you ria i always can um resonate thank you so much and that is another thing we always will reflect energies in our lives that are reson- resonate with us at some way shape or form something we need to hear that maybe triggers us and makes us look within for the truth or something that we hear that know is truth and for me it causes tingliness and expansion and it just expands the love and light that i am and when you guys come on that's what i feel i feel the tingliness i feel the expansion a spiritual athlete has come to expand all that they are mind body and spirit it's all intertwined there's no separation the same with a physical athlete if they only focus on the physical and base all their value on the physical and what they see on the outside world they would never become the athlete that they are to become same with us with spiritual in the spiritual realm if we base our success on what we see on the outside world or what we're feeling we would throw in the towel right away we got to dig deeper what does an athlete do they can't stop at the first loss of the first embarrassment they can't quit when when they've gotten injured and the doctor says they're on bed rest for two months or or when they feel that they've been totally um just put in the dirt by another team or another athlete in competition they can't give up no they can't and if they judge their success on the outside they would have given up and never become the fullness of who they are just like us like spiritual beings if we give up we'll never ever become the or feel the fullness of the spiritualness that we are in this lifetime and i believe we're all called to experience our mastery Thank you, C. Megan, our mastery in this lifetime. And it's simply through the free will to choose to reach, reach, reach for the unseen, to stay focused to our vision, whatever our vision is, but stay open, remain open for our answers and our fulfillment to be realized in any way, shape, or form. Any way, shape, or form. Like Bruce Lee, even. He he was... um, created all these schools in his own way his own um uh his own creation of a martial art but then he was called to acting and and so it deviated his path deviated and oh my god such a beautiful soul i was just reading a little bit upon him this morning i really don't know but i know when i did martial arts i always called upon his spirit and i was doing a temple of the sun meditation transmission by steve noble and i posted it on my site is that no freaking coincidence that there is a meditation called temple of the sun 
<laughs> so I was doing that and it said, call forth the avatar to help you. And the avatar that stepped forward to me was Bruce Lee. And it's just so beautiful. If you guys haven't done that transmission or if you haven't done that, I call it, it's a transmission, but a meditation. I, I posted it on my site and it's so beautiful because what you do is you enter the temple of your own sun. We are all rays of light. We're all beings. We're all stars of light exploding. You can imagine our hearts and it's just exploding with the light as we expand, as we expand and as we believe and as we reach for the highest frequency that we can possibly be. How stinking beautiful. And something that I just recently read that Bruce Lee, well, his way in, in what he was teaching, his principles were directedness. We have to direct, keep our eyes direct, directly focused on the higher frequency, the higher vibration, the expansion of who we are. And his second thing was simplicity. It's not meant to be complex. It was simple. And his third thing was expansion. It makes so much sense why I connect to that energy. Because it is all about expansion, expansion of self, and that's an eternal, never-ending journey, guys, as a spiritual athlete, as a, as a 3D athlete. But I don't believe there's any separation between an athlete and a spiritual, because ultimately, you guys, we are spiritual beings living the human experience. We're having the sensory, we're having the sensory um, feedback by being human, how beautiful. As we ascend, as we get those heartaches, as we bring forth those emotions, we have the gift to experience that stuff from a sensory level in the human physical body. How amazing. Same with an athlete. They get to experience the fullness and the expansion and the joy of being immersed in their body in the now and seeing the physical results of reaching for something that could never be tangible unless they actually went through the experience. That's where, why we're spiritual beings going through the human, going through the human vessel because we get to experience it in a physical way. What a blessing, what a gift. Um, and one other thing that I know, I, I don't know if I just said this, but Bruce Lee also said, and I thought it was very profound and beautiful, because a lot of us pray, f might want to be tempted or want to pray for an easy life. But he says, don't pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to get through a difficult life, because it's through those difficulties that we gain the greatest insight, the greatest wisdom, the greatest expansion, hence the human experience and all the pain we project. How beautiful, how beautiful, because in that we gain, we turn to an inner strength within us that is available to us all the time with all all the insight all the light all the answers and it causes us to grow in that in that strength and that wisdom and insight as we actually go through the physical experience we learn of the love we get to experience the love that we are as we transform and transcend negativity and as we blast it with our light blast it with our master light blastedness the light and love that we are from the heart guys it's a vibration it's a frequency and that vibration and frequency will be projected in the outside world we are creating a new a new world a new life a new physical body guys a new physical body literally we don't have to get old and deteriorate we can regenerate rejuvenate <laughs> Just like an athlete going beyond what human people expectations are because they believe and they reach and they work through the aches and pains. All right, guys, I just needed to share that with you as I head off on my run. And it's my runs, like it's moving energy and they become portals for, um, you know, God's source communication for me. And it is so beautiful. And um, just connect to, to, to your spirit in whatever way, shape, or form that is. And all that means is connecting to the passion, connecting and acting and interacting with that platform that brings forth the greatest joy in your life, whatever it is, whether it be dancing, whether it be biking, whether it be um, listening to YouTube moments in the moment. It's always different, guys, and it's always going to change because we get our food from many, many different uh, paths to feed us and all those different paths like the rays of the rays of the sun they're feeding us they're helping us grow and we're always called for different things we're not just one little path we're not just a martial artist we're not just an actor like them we're not just a bodybuilder like Arnold he's a politician they're an actor they're they're much much they're philosophers they're way showers they're way showers when it comes right down to it they're way showers because they have shared and expressed the light with with un with no in a bit without it being inhibited just free express and what did they do they gained what you give is what you get if you give yourself totally to your life experience that's exactly what you receive exactly all right guys i'm gonna head off it's a beautiful hot humid day i love to run the uh run the 
water line there. <laughs> Stay cool. So I love you guys, and may you guys all shine with the entirety of all the light that you are. <laughs>